or if there was a world where the lines between good and evil were razor thin. The universe of Castlevania brings such duality to life, showcasing characters who embody the struggle between light and dark. Among these numerous figures stands Trevor Belmont, an emblem of human resilience, an ordinary man who rises to confront extraordinary evils, reminding us that courage cannot shine mere strength. So the backdrop of Castlevania, a haunting realm filled with vampires and monsters, sets the stage for an epic showdown between man and beast. Yet at its center is Dracula, Vlad Chepej, a vampire whose tragic past drives him to unleash his wrath upon humanity. In this grim narrative, a coalition of daring heroes joins forces to challenge Dracula's tyranny. Among them is Ratko, a vampire warrior renowned for his exceptional swordsmanship. His partnership with Varney, crafted to resurrect Dracula, highlights both ambition and cunning. With supernatural abilities that make him practically immortal, Ratko proves time and again that his skills and confidence make him a formidable foe. And I think the magic silence of the magician of the magician is able to read on your special magical logical tack in the team, James, into his family in Mercery. And they're also very successful of their designs, showcasing his power to dominate minds. However, like many characters in this twisted tale, he ultimately faces the wrath of those he seeks to control. And then there's Strita, a vampire with an unparalleled honor code and armed with extraordinary armor that allows her to defy sunlight. She leads the Styrian army with unmatched strategy and martial prowess. Her bravery and strength shine brightly as she tears through enemies on the battlefield. The subtle influence of the abbot Emmanuel cannot be ignored. Operating from the shadows, he forges dark creatures for the vampire nobility, demonstrating that not all power is visible. Though he doesn't fight it directly, his craft shapes the world of Castlevania, manipulating forces beyond mere combat. Don't forget Maria Renard, a beacon of hope in the series. With roots entangled in magic, her ability to summon creatures to aid her makes her a powerful ally uh, in battle. Even at a young age, her growth and magical prowess is both impressive and inspiring, making her a character to watch. Annette, a descendant of war deities, wields geokinesis to turn ordinary surroundings into formidable weapons. Her heritage grants her exceptional combat skills blending divine power with practical strength to confront monstrous foes. It's a true testament to the adage that sometimes the smallest packages come with the biggest surprises. And Isaac adds another layer of complexity to this world. As a pivotal figure in Dracula's plans, he showcases remarkable combat ability and a knack for resurrection. His dark gifts allow him to summon horrors, blending creativity with raw power making him a breathtaking character to follow. Among these legends stands Trevor Belmont, an iconic monster hunter whose legacy unfolds dramatically. With a unique dagger, he manifests sheer resourcefulness, defeating threats that far exceed mere physicality. His confrontation with the embodiment of death reveals his cunning nature, showing that even the most feared can be outsmarted. In the little number one, Finally, none can eclipse the menace of Dracula himself. His overwhelming power and tragic narrative create an intriguing dynamic, challenging protagonists while embodying the ceaseless cycle of vengeance. Even this force is vulnerable, revealing that love can be both a strength and a curse. If you enjoyed this exploration into the Castlevania universe, consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that like button. You never know, perhaps the next character will be wanted to know more. The thing that says is the feeling of the investigation in terms of the activism. After all, why did Dracula always have a terrible sense of humor? Because he couldn't find the right fang in any of his jokes. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, I'm Freighter Webbs.